All right, so in this video, we're going to look at side lengths, perimeters, and areas of similar, similar polygons. Um, so we do need to pay attention. There's a, a couple of facts here that we want to pay attention to. So um, the figures have a scale factor of S, so they're going to give us a self scale factor, and we'll go through and read through this. They're going to kind of give us a scale factor. I'll say it that way. Um, we're going to have to kind of find it. So the ratio of the corresponding side lengths, any lengths that we're comparing, would be also having a scale factor of S. If we're looking at the perimeter, the scale factor is still going to be S, whatever we calculated for the, the original scale factor. If it's the area that they're asking us to, to look at, then we have to square the scale, the scale factor. So make sure you're paying attention. Is it a one-dimensional piece of information you're looking at, or is it a two-dimensional piece of information? So one-dimensional is a length, and two-dimensional is a space that it's taken up, a flat space. So length times width, kind of an idea. Um, all right, so... If we look at this one, it, it says a pair of similar figures given below, um, and note they're not drawn to scale. Um, the sides BC and DE are corresponding sides, so they're already showing us that. Those are the only two sides they labeled. Use the information below um, to find BC in figure 1 and the area in figure 2. So we're going to go through and we're going to find these pieces here. So we are given that the perimeter of figure 1 is 28, degree, or 20 degrees, 28 centimeters, and the perimeter of figure 2 is um, 16. So we actually have the perimeter across both of these, and that's actually what we need to look for. We're either going to be given the area for both, the perimeter for both, or the, a length for both. So we need to find out which one we were given both. That's how we're going to calculate our scale factor. Okay. So using number two up here, we're going to calculate the scale factor because the perimeter is um, a basic length. So we're going to do the perimeter of figure one over the perimeter of figure two. So that's 28 over 16, and we reduce that because they can both divide by 7. Um, I'm sorry, by 4. 28 divided by 4 is 7, and 16 divided by 4 is 4. Um, so now we're given that S is 7 fourths. Okay, so we're kind of given that. We had to calculate it, but they, they gave us enough so that they, we could find the scale factor. So now we're going to use number 1 because number 1 is about finding the length, so we're going to focus on finding BC first. So if I know that the scale factor is 7 over 4, well, that's going to equal my, my two lengths, okay? So 7 came from the larger figure and 4 came from the smaller figure, right? It was larger to smaller. So I still need to do that over here. So larger would be the BC and smaller would be the, the length of 4. Now I can cross multiply. So 7 times 4 is 28 and BC times 4, well, that's just 4BC because I just multiplied them together. So now, to find out what BC is, I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides, because 28 divided by 4 is 7. Now I can also see if it's 7 over 4 and this is already 4, this has no choice but to be 7, because it has to match that ratio of 7 to 4. So that was another thing. If you'd noticed that ahead of time, awesome. Um, all right, so now we're going to um, find the area of figure 2. So I'm scooching up here so we can see it. So now I'm going to do... Um, the scale factor squared. So the area of figure 1 over the area of figure 2. Um, so I have 147 over the area of figure 2. Um, but I do have to, to square my, my scale factor. So 7 fourths is going to turn into um, 7 squared and 4 squared, which is 49 over 16. So I didn't want to just jump over here. I wanted to show you I'm squaring them. So it's 7 times 7 and 4 times 4. We get 49 over 16. So this is the area scale factor because area is a two-dimensional space, not just a length. So I have to square it. Okay. So now I can write my proportion. 49 over 16 is equal to the area 147 over A because I just decided that this was figure um, A for area for figure 2. So now I'm going to cross multiply. So I get 49A equals... And if I multiply 16 and 147, I get this nice big number, 2,352. And I'm going to divide both sides by 49, um, because 49 divided by 49 cancels out. And I have A equals, well, 2,352 um, divided by 49 is 48. I do need to make sure that I have centimeters squared here if it's not already in there for me, um, because if I don't click the correct unit when Alex expects me to, they will mark me wrong. All right, so that was finding 
our missing area or side length using a scale factor. I hope that helped and I'll see you in the next video.